Hello everybody, this is Sandeep here. Welcome to the eConstruct channel. Today we are going to discuss certain things about the project management. Project management is such a state of art so that you know any big activities, big projects, big problems can be curtailed down to the smaller ones and can be resolved. Whether that is a space program going to the Mars, whether that so many things related to the underground tunnels or maybe the cable state bridges, ports, harbors, airports, anything. So very big problems. How to resolve that big problems is to cut down into the smaller problems and resolve it. There are so many project management techniques that has come into the place. Techniques related to the PERT CPM, those are very well known. But along with that, there is a PRINCE2 or maybe Six Sigma and many different kind of techniques like waterfall techniques and other techniques are there. To resolve the big problems into the smaller ones and get rid of that problems to give the proper solution to the project. So if you are really interested in watching this video, please stay tuned. Project management is something there are so many questions will come. So let's see that. So let's say activity A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. I think more, many, many people might have gone through, you know, our college days during that time, the precedence activities, successor activities, their durations and how to find out the critical path and all actually. So many a times we take certain dummy activity or let's say, a activity a activity b activity c and all actually so the problem comes up that how basically this can be channelized how this can be you know addressed so let's say this is excavation this is pcc this is rcc this one is uh, uh, you know the shuttering bar bending and other things so what happens is these are certain activities these are the, the, the precedence or the successor sometimes this, this this will be the successor activities and there would be certain kind of duration would be there so all that comes up with certain kind of solutions over here which you can see that what kind of solutions that we required if you see that if you can go through the other chapters like how to find out this kind of activities the dependencies and other things as well as you can see that look at this so the kind of solutions that we can offer it through the MSP or the Primeware are many, many different softwares are there which would help you to find out the critical path method, which would be basically, you know, the solutions where you would actually get the optimistic approach. And there is another method which we call it as the probabilistic method, which we call it as from the PERT. All right. So many of the problem solving techniques are there which you can do it from the MSP and Primavera. There is auto scheduling, there is a manual scheduling and many many other tasks are there where you can find out the very big problem, how to curtail into the smaller ones and resolve it. All right. So intent task, what are the intent tasks actually are there and what are the precedence, successor activities, dependencies and all. Here you can see that after this particular activity then you can start this, after you finish this activity then you can finish this so let's say for example if you want to hand over the project all the activities should be finished all right so all these things are there over here so what what we need to do is we need to curtail down all the tasks or the events or different activities that you need to mark down over here like abcd find out the duration many a times this is also a big problem and this is also another problem how to resolve it so you just need to find out what are the different very compulsive activities or the task that we need to find out and the duration duration can be found out with there are certain is code any of the pwd and cpwd dsrs that generally gives you the information about how many number of durations that you require what we call it as the rate analysis through the rate analysis you will find out exactly how many number of days genuine days that you require to complete a particular task now these are the dependencies dependencies are related to what activity you can start or what task you can start after what all right so let's say for example uh, marriage your marriage is one of the project for example then you will see that uh, you know you need to have a marriage um, venue then you need to order for the food you need to go for the photography videography and all you need to make sure that you know all the clothing is there plus you will see that there are certain rituals that you need to complete so these are basically the activities you need to find out what are the compelling and the very important activities so that you don't invest so much on the money and the time and the resources 
all right so any project like for example if you really want to study with this well topic that how to find out the project management techniques so you take a simple project like for example your brother's wedding or sister's wedding or your own wedding actually so you find out basically how uh, you know you are going to illustrate it how many number of tasks that you require the resources that you require all right so this is how we generally uh, work on the msp and other softwares now solutions now this is msp this is the primavera now primavera p6 is also wonderful software fantastic software uh, it's a little heavy uh, another thing is what's the difference between there are so many people they ask us that what's the difference between msp and p6 primavera this is a little bit like an excel easy to use easy to maneuver easy to find out easy to work and all actually i would suggest that you for first of all work on the msp and then start thinking about the p6 p6 is a little bit about the entrepreneur or enterprise version actually what is that so let's say for example there are uh, um, different uh, work breakdown schedules are there wbs what we call it as along with that there are certain organization breakdown schedules organization breakdown schedule so that is another obs so one is wbs which is related to one particular project and another one is the organization breakdown schedules which is basically uh, certain departments are related to admin department it department costing department estimation costing department tendering department or uh, accounting departments there would be the technical department um, structural department architectural department so many many departments would be there so organization breakdown schedule and then come to the wbs so so p6 is is little little bit uh, not little bit quite bigger version of the msp first of all you need to understand the msp properly and then you can switch over to the p6 many people they start learning the p6 first actually the primavera first but um, i would suggest to to you know first standard second standard first and then then you go to the fifth standard it is better like you cannot directly jump into the fifth standard as a kid so uh, go step by step and that way it will help you out so along with uh, the primavera what are the different things are there so what we need to study like let's say for example if you want to study this particular software how do you study you study with the small 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 problems you study with the small eps systems how to generate the projects how to you know do the start end activities and all you see generally if you are knowing the msp then learning the p6 the primavera would be a little easier task for you who are the responsible manager what are the assignments are there and all actually that you will study over here you can also see how can you add the activities ids and other things so what generally what uh, we are doing is we generally take the complex project like this we try to solve it manually and then we go through the individual working environment so you can see that uh, you know this kind of problem statements actually which we generally take it so smaller projects uh, it takes a smaller efforts to find it out but you will get a lot of benefits basically so, so smaller problems you know you will get a lot of benefits uh, related to how to work on the primavera software how to work on the msp software uh, certain so certain problems are very easy to resolve with the manual calculations third cpm methods are also you can utilize it with certain manual calculation you can easily find out certain big problems you definitely require the software okay so i would suggest that initially go with this very small smaller uh, uh, problems you try to find it out through the manual calculations and then take a little bit long bigger uh, problems and then start working uh, thinking about manually and then start working with the msp or primavera that way you will get expertise into how to resolve the very big problems and you know solve it into the smaller ones and get rid of the problems and have the proper solution to the project so as a project manager there are so many problems that you will be having on the site also there are so many different different very very big problems that will be having many many people like uh, what happens is as a project manager i'm telling you you try to resolve that at the site related level but you do not see the dependencies of that task to the uh, successor or the predecessor activities and that is really a problem that's the difference between the site engineer and the project manager 
if you really want to grow from the site engineer i'm sure that there are so many site engineers watching this video and there is a labor kind of feeling people are getting it why because they are f only focusing on individual small small problems so let's say for example you're only dealing with this you're only dealing with this all right so try to have the efficacy in solving every particular task that is the site engineer's job that is not the project manager's job okay but the effect of that the implication of that to the to the entire project what we call it as there are two types of visions one is the micro vision and the second is is the macro vision so this one is basically you know you funnel it to to the smaller problems to s resolve it but this will be the wider angle actually this is exactly reverse it is like this so you when when you are looking at from here actually you will see the bigger picture of the project as a whole the impact of that particular activity to the entire project as a whole so both the visions would you require to understand you require to develop okay in in hindu mythology uh, i would like to tell you that we call it as third vision third tisra aakh tisri aakh there is nothing that you know something is coming out of this and you are watching it is basically the wisdom it is basically you know the vision the the macro vision uh, it is it every person every civil engineer required to develop this kind of vision that micro problems also is getting resolved whether it's a labor issue material issue quality issue you know billing issue many many different issues would be there which is related to micro issues which we generally take care from the site engineer site supervisors and all but along with that the macro level issues also you required to deal with it that's why you require this kind of tools to learn you know there is it's not impossible for anybody to uh, uh, learn this but i'm just trying to tell you you just need to ta start taking some kind of efforts take this very very smaller problems actually and try and try to find out the what are the activities dependencies and other things uh, okay and then you start work working with the same problem with the primavera or with the msp and then start working with the solutions all right so i'll just give you the glimpse about the certain problem statements okay so this is how actually you would take certain problems try to resolve it and then take care of how to you know how to deal with the software stuff okay so many many different tools and techniques that are available i would like to show you a few more tools and techniques uh, this is what we call it as scrum okay scrum and uh, what is basically the scrum is like rugby game in this in that uh, there is a technique that you know how you are going to stop the another person taking to the right place okay otherwise you know there is a goal so there is a scrum name that you will be giving so let's say this is one particular thing that you are going to start just go to the next you will say the privacy what kind of public private and secret or so let's say like this and what are the different elements are there so once you start working with that scrum what is basically this so let's say this is the project that we are dealing with along with that you will see that there are so many scrum uh, that we can develop in the scrums we'll have the different kind of sp sprints you can also start the sprints and you can stop it what is scrum scrum is the larger version and the sprint is the smaller version for example you want to do the excavation let's say for example the scrum is you want to do the excavation okay is a bigger larger version but here the sprint one will be like site clearance then taking the survey then you know we're taking up the small small shrubs and it, uh, shrubs and all if there is a very big tree or something actually you need to you know that you need to take the permission from the government and all so what you will do is you will start adding the different uh, you know sprints from here all right so how to do that you can add the different task from here and you can also add the different scrum so let's say for example here this is the uh, sprint that you are st starting you can add the different tasks inside the scrum box and inside the sprints scrum is the big version sprint is the smaller version over here and inside the sprints this task is even the micro version so from the macro level to the micro level how you can start different different activities how you can basically 
divide it first and start working on it and what kind of team that are getting added to that okay so these kind of techniques you would definitely require to solve to become the successful project manager all right so i hope you really like the video if you really really liked it please give the thumbs up if you loved it please subscribe the channel thank you so much bye bye <music>